Hi friends, how are you? Welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry at the studio. So I left home, I know I was supposed to go live at one o'clock, but I thought um, I actually had some things I had to do, so I figured why not come live right now? Better late than never, right? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this big purple butterfly. So here's our blank canvas, and here's our finished canvas. And I know my apron says Eden, but I just borrowed her apron because mine's at home. Okay, so these are our colors today. We've got white, purple, bright red, black, and gold. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to get our brushes. And I have our Big Daddy brush right here, our favorite one. And I apologize for you not being able to see my head. I have to turn this a certain way. Maybe if I sit down. I don't really like to paint sitting down, but I'll do it just for you. Okay? All right. So we're going to take black and we're going to cover our canvas. The whole thing. Paint the whole canvas black. Sometimes backgrounds get so boring. I don't ever paint with my glasses on, but apparently today I felt like I had to, so those are going off. Okay. Just keep painting the whole thing black. Now you can use neon paints for this if you wanted to. Neon paints are fun. And then we gotta let it dry. And don't forget about your sides too. Pick your sides. So this week is our show's one year anniversary. It's the 7th, and my very first show I recorded on the 9th, so April 9th, so two days from now. Maybe I'll come back live and do a special anniversary one. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, it was super, super fun. Um, one year ago, I started the show, and ever since then I've had... All of you super, super awesome friends, be super supportive. We won an award, a Clapper Award, uh, for Best Instructional. We... So I'm recording on my phone, and apparently somebody was trying to call me. <laughs> Whoops. Make sure you color it all black and then smooth it all out. So go from side to side. Make sure you get it all nice and smooth on there. Just like this. And just keep going. So this one's gonna be a fast one because it's the 26 minutes. So while we've all been quarantined, we've been going live and we've been doing about an hour painting but because this is actually for your viewing pleasure on the TV, we're only going to do this for 26 minutes. This is one of my favorites. So this was actually a messed up canvas. I didn't like it. Whatever I painted on it, I was like, ugh. I didn't like, which happens a lot, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to paint it all black. So I painted it all black and I just started kind of winging it. Kind of just throwing things on there and that's what happened. Don't forget about your sides. Move your canvas so you can hit your sides. And your bottom. It's so weird not being in the recording studio recording the show. It's definitely an adjustment lately trying to um, 
do these live from different places, especially since like half my head is cut off. Like most of the videos, half my head is cut off. <laughs> it's so funny. So we're just gonna let this dry. Let it dry. Let it dry. Great acoustics in here today, huh? Maybe it's the way I'm sitting. There. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry. I have black all over my hands. So for those of you who have never been to the studio, because we have lots of viewers that live out of state, we have lots of viewers that um, live in North Dakota, shout out to you peeps, um, Canton, Ohio, Brunswick, Ohio, Medina, Ohio, Wadsworth, Ohio. We have lots and lots of peeps that live out of the area that haven't been able to come in and see the studio. So this is actually the paint studio. And I'll do a really, really quick, like 360. The shop's a little messy right now. So here is some of our fun paintings that we have going on. Here's our window. There's our door. Here's our stage. That's super fun. <laughs> There's the office and more paintings. Then we have, we'll let this dry. Then we have another little paint room all the way back here. So I will show you this paint room. It's a little crazy right now because we are doing pour painting back here. You can see our pour painting right there. That's Eden's, she did awesome. This is another little paint room. So we can actually have six people in here and an instructor painting, and we have some storage up there. So this is um, our studio for those of you who have um, not seen it. Yeah, and from Iowa too. So let me set this back down here. Let's see if I can get it right back into that same position. Perfect. I gotta touch it, I think, in order to, oh well. Okay, so, dry, dry, dry. So obviously you can use chalk during this time. If you don't wanna use chalk, you don't have to use chalk. Uh oh, my phone's gonna fall. I see it happening, ah! Oh my goodness, it's so crazy, this thing. Balance, balance! Of course, now it's gonna fall the entire time. Oh my goodness. We're gonna use the Lysol to hold it up. And this box of straws. Let's see if that works. Oh, I shouldn't have moved it. I'm so sorry. Oh, thanks, everyone. Now they're all like, yep, we're not going live with it. We're not putting this one on the show. You crazy. It's all crazy. Okay, let me grab some chalk. I think I have some here. I do. I do have chalk. I'm going to grab a purple piece. Purple chalk right here. Okay, and now we are going to draw on... Of course, of course. We're going to call this bloopers. That's what we're going to call this. Oh, my goodness. Balance. Okay. So this guy is not dry yet. I do encourage you to have a dry painting during all of this. So, <laughs> um, you know, it's okay. So for those of you that are watching at home, like on your TV, I am doing this Facebook Live. So I have lots of different comments posted below. And I'm trying not to respond to them, so I apologize. But this one is actually being downloaded and put on the TV. So it's going to be broadcasted everywhere. So I apologize for you at home not reading your comments. And for everybody else who's like, what are, who are you talking to? <laughs> talking to myself. That's what happens when you're in quarantine. You talk to yourself. 
I've been kind of nervous to even come to the shop because they don't want us leaving our houses. Then I'm like, nobody's even been to the shop, so why can't I, you know? Even with my head cut off in this video. <laughs> Let it dry. So it is drying. I'm going to get that nice and dry. If at home you want to walk away, you want to go hang out, maybe in the living room or in another room, grab a cup of coffee, um, you know, message a couple friends, let the dog out, whatever, just until your painting is dry. Once your painting is dry, then you can just come right back to it. So this would be a great time to take a break, to get a bottle of water, you know, whatever, and just let it dry. Because honestly, sitting here watching it dry is no fun at all. I do have a blow dryer here, but I feel like it would be so loud on the, <laughs> on the thing if I went over and I used the blow dryer. So... It'll be dry in a second. It's almost dry up here, but I want to be able to draw this on for you. So actually, I'm going to try it with the, with the wet paint. If it doesn't work, we'll just go over it with, um, with the other, with the paint. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to do our oval. So there's your body. And then you're going to come off here, off here. And then these are like, So it's almost like two big flower petals. Once we start coming in though, we're gonna pull this here. And then the same here, like we're gonna come down like this, and like this, and then like this, and like this. So it's gonna be a big, huge butterfly. So just get that basic outline, and I don't know if you can even see it. Oh my goodness, you can't. Just get that basic outline doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to paint all over it and you're not even going to see what we have going on here. So I've got this rounded brush right here. This is going to give us like the real big smooth brush strokes. So I'm going to throw some gold right here in the middle and it's going to be pretty thick. I want this gold to be nice and thick. Just like this, perfect. I'm just gonna let that start to dry. I'm gonna rinse off my brush and I am going to make a pink, okay? So in this one over here, I used some neon colors, but what I want you to do here, if you don't have those neon colors, is just make pink with your red and your white. The lighter, more white, makes a lighter pink. If you add that red in there, and just real quick, like you're sweeping a floor. You don't want it to be all colored in. Okay, so see how it's almost like I'm cleaning my brush off onto my canvas. So just act as if you're cleaning the paint off your brush onto your canvas and it'll give you this effect. Let me sniff on. I have such bad allergies. I'm not even kidding you. I get allergy shots every week, just so everyone knows. <laughs> okay. And the same thing here, pull down. Perfect. Color this guy in a little bit. Oh, I didn't even color any of that guy in. What's doing? Slacking. Slacking, yeah. So I'm kind of going the way with the wings. So if I'm going this way, I'm going like a sad face. If I'm going this way, I'm going an up face, like a smiley face. Then I'm going to grab some purple, just some straight purple. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm going to use, gather up that purple, and just add a little layer of the dark purple. It's not going to show up a lot because the background is black. Purple is kind of transparent. 
and that's okay. We just want to get some of that darker streaks of purple. See, just a couple. It's just a couple. That's it. Doo -doo. Same here. Same here. Then I'm going to add some white. I'm actually going to let this dry a second. I'm going to add a little bit more pink over here. I feel like these are so bright with pink and this is not. Oh my goodness, look at how much white I just put in there. Kind of get close. We'll come back through and round this guy out, his body, so don't feel bad if you get real close. There's a lot of black that's colored right there too. So this is what your guys should start to look like. I'll give you a little close up. This is hard to do sitting down. I don't ever paint sitting down. So this is kind of weird to be sitting down doing this. I don't know how, like last time I did it, I had it all set up to where the guy was at eye level with it. And I don't know. I don't even know how I did that last time. And just let it dry. The more it dries, the more coats you get to build up. If you just have it dry, um, if you have it wet and you just keep building, it's just going to keep blending all the paint. So definitely let it dry in between coats. Um, I'm not going to just for the sake of our time here. And that's okay to also do it like this. But like I said, it'll just start to blend. So you can see like down here where it blended in with the black that was already wet. Let's grab that brush again, clean that off. We're going to pull some of this white and pull some of this purple and make a lavender color. And then just real lightly. Now you can make your butterfly any color you want. If you don't want it black, don't make it black. Or I mean, purple, don't make it purple. Make it blue, make it yellow. Whatever colors you want. Perfect. I'm going to pull some purple here. And just keep going like this. I love it. Purple is my favorite color. Um, I'm going to add a little tiny bit of red to this purple because I think it makes like a real pretty deep purpley pink. Watch. See how it kind of pulls those reds out like that? All right, here we go. Love it. Do that same thing over here. I'm gonna pull it through. I feel like we're getting a lot of black pulled through, so I'm going to let this rest again. I think I'm doing more over here on this side because it's closer than if I were to do it over here. Let's play with this guy a little bit. Bring him off the canvas. Just real lightly off the canvas. See, I'm pulling in both ways, so I'm pulling in this way, but then I'm also pulling out this way. Oh my gosh, this guy's so cute. I feel like this is missing something. Maybe because it's so wet, I'm like freaking out about the colors combining. But we're going to go in with another layer of pink. Right on top of all this purple to brighten it up. Or white, that really made it look like white. <laughs> it's okay, we'll bring it over here. There we go, look at that. How's this looking so far? 
It doesn't really, the colors don't match, but it's okay. I told you I used neon paints for that one, I think. You can sit here and build on these all day long. This is so wet right here underneath this black that the black just keeps pulling through. So I actually do have to let this dry a second or the painting isn't gonna be perfect for all of you. Not that I care that mine's perfect, but I want yours to be perfect. So it is very important that you let it dry in between. I could real quick hit it with the blow dryer if you don't mind the noise. We'll do it fast. that sorry that took a little bit of time so it says I have low battery let's change that there we go okay oh, I feel bad so many people got off the live version <laughs> and it's why because I had to go blow dry it I'm gonna play with this middle part a little bit here his little body I want his body to be on top of the wings not his wings on top of his body if you have to, you can add a little bit of white to the wing, or I mean to the gold, or you can use brown, whatever, and just add it. Cute little bean here. That's what this guy is. Cute little beanie guy. Look at how cute that guy is. We need to give him a little antlers here. Look at that. How do I do that here? Oh, I just went real lightly. Oh my gosh, this guy's gonna be so cute. I can't wait to see everyone's at home. I let this dry. Oh yeah, it's getting dry. There's one little spot that's wet, but we're gonna clean off this brush and we're gonna come in with some of this purple. There we go, look at that. See how it's not mixing in now? And real lightly, I'm just going to come in through here. I'm going to add a couple more little swoosh marks through here. Just keep mixing your paint and playing along with it. I'm going to put this wing on top of this wing. I feel like it just makes a, I just dropped my brush. Those big wings pop. I think I have another brush here. Different texture brush, but that's okay. One holds a lot of paint. This was just one that I had in this cup that I was painting something earlier with. And again, I want to bring this wing on top of that wing. You can even add just like a little bit of black just to give that little outline back. Stronger outline there. We're going to outline it with a little bit of white too. I want you to have a real strong, strong outline when you do the wings. Okay, white. Let's bring some white here. Some white here. We're in that brush real good. I 
and bring this right there. Just real softly, I'm pulling some of this in. Some white through there. Some white through here. I think oranges and yellows would be super pretty in this. Um, so if any of you have an orange and yellow one or you do it in orange and yellows, please, please, please send us a picture of it so we can post it. We love to see everyone's artwork. Let's see here. I'm gonna pick that brush up because I feel like I need it. <laughs> and it's leaving so much paint on the floor and it just rolled. Okay, so I have this little round brush too, which we're gonna use because I need to add all of these fun little things. And I want you guys to use the proper brush. Me, I could use my big brush um, because I angle it certain ways and I can get it down pat, but I don't want any of you to feel like, you know, you can't do it with the, or you have to use the big brush. So there's a couple little lines through here. Then there's like a dash mark. Then there's like a scribble. Okay, the same thing over here, and then a circle, and another little circle, and then another little circle, let's go bigger with this one, and let's just hit this outline. A little darker, brighter white, I should say. And the same thing over here, bright white, bright white. A couple fun little swooshes there. A little circle here, and then we went like, it almost looks like a semi. Right? Is that what they're called? Semicolons? I don't even know. I, I slept through English. Ew, I just keep making it bigger. Why do I keep making it bigger? Done that through there. Then I want you to just real quick throw some on the wings. Let's do this one. Ooh, that's our timer. Good thing we're almost done. And let's rinse that brush. Let's hit it with the black. And the same thing. Don't even think about when you do this. I feel like when you think about it, it you think too much about it, and then you don't know where to put them. So just kind of put them wherever you want to fill things in, okay? Swish marks up here. Bring one right there. Play with this wing. Let's do we can do a nice swish mark through here too. And then over here, scribble, swish, swish. We put no white in that one, so I'm just gonna clean this brush off real good. And I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to add some white. I'm also going to add like a quick little white through here. Just because I feel like I need to bring this guy to life a little bit. Oh, I just added too much white. All right, everyone. How's this looking? Great. So now that we are all finished and we absolutely love our painting, you all need to own it. So grab your brushes. I brought, grab your little tiny brushes. And I want you to own your painting, your masterpiece, initial the bottom, and voila! You have a perfect spring butterfly. So thank you everyone for watching. Please, please, please stay tuned for more of our lives. And we hope you are all doing well and staying healthy.